Prana, prana means uh, special energy. Pra, pra means prakrishta, na means bala. The pranayama, pranayama means expansion of that energy. Everything uh, is energy, everything has energy. Everything, even right from an atom, in the atom, uh, the nuclear uh, electrons are orbiting around the nucleus in the orbit. It is continuously moving. What is powering the electronics to move? Continuously rotation uh, between the orbits. Also, there are uh, subatomic uh, particles are there. They call call that one as uh, quark, subatomic pa particle. It is also subatomic particle. Uh, the scientists still they say it is uh, like sometimes it looks like stationary, sometimes looks like moving. It is uh, still they can't find out whether it is uh, in motion or st steady. In Ishavasi Upanishad talks about uh, the tadejati, tanejati, tadhure, tadantike. Tadantarasya sarvasya, tadu sarvasya sya bahyata. It says, Upanishad talks about everything looks like moving, looks like stationary. Like wave, it is moving or stationary. It is, that is, tadantarasya sarvasya, that um, prana, that energy is there, antarasya sarvasya, it is there, tadu sarvasya sya bahyata. It is outside and inside. It seemed to be stationary. It seemed to be moving. That is a great wonder. Isha Vasya Upanishad also talks about that energy. The prana, the prana is um, inside the body seemed to be stationary and it is moving enlivening our life. The body, body by nature is a dull, lazy, lethargy. Its uh, body is called as um, the jada. Jada means uh, inert. Inert means uh, tamasic. It, uh, what is inert, what has given the energy to this body to move, it is prana. It is a jada, inert. It is able to move. Able to move because of this prana. The body becomes enlivened with the prana. Between the pranayama is a must. For uh, pranayama is a link between the body and the mind. Link between the annamaya kosha and manomaya kosha is pranamaya kosha. Compared to body and mind, prana is at the center. As I mentioned, manomaya kosha among the koshas, it is at the center. Between the body and the mind, prana is the king. Prana, prana holds our mind and body in balance. Mind and body is held in balance because of the pranayama. The pranayama the, um, nourishes the body, nourishes the body and nourishes the mind also. Nourishes the mind. And the uh, practice of um, the pranayama, dull body, dull mind, it awakens the dull mind. Lazy mind, lethargy mind gets uh, enlivened by pranayama. And when the lethargy, lazy person gets awakened, becomes very uh, um, unsteady, unsteady, restless. Restless mind, restless body, it calms down. And the restless body and mind, when it calms down, one experiences the serenity. Serenity uh, in laye sambodaye chittam vikshiptam shamayet punaha Sakashayam vijaniyat samam praptam na chalayet. Manduka Upanishad talks about. Right? Doing that one, lazy body, lazy mind is enlivened. Enlivened, unsteady mind gets calmed down. Through the pranayama, practice of pranayama, body, one real, realizes the stillness. The body in the asana, how to master the asana, some of uh, uh, 
uh, students are practicing for uh, years, still there is no mastery over the asana. The, uh, while doing the asana, the asana posture must be synchronized with the breathing. The body movement must be synchronized with the breathing. For example, when you are squeezing your lungs, you uh, asana doing the squeezing the lungs part, Paschimottasana you are doing, where you are squeezing your lungs, you have to exhale. It should be synchronized with the uh, movement. You exhale quickly and there is no more air for you to move, so body is not flexible. As you are exhaling, try to bend forward. Flexibility increases. As you are inhaling, try to open up your lungs. The rule, try to movement must be synchronized with the breathing. As you are exhaling, start moving forward. As you are inhaling, start to open up your lungs. Inhaling. Inhale with the movement, exhale again. The movement, when the movement of the posture, body, asana is synchronized with the breathing, body becomes flexible, body becomes light. Body, you are able to sit in one posture for a long time, one who has mastered the pranayama, the asana siddhi. To get the asana siddhi, pranayama is required. Pranayama, the body becomes light, flexible. And um, um, as I mentioned earlier, body is like a slave to the mind. The slave uh, must be flexible, agile, dynamic, and able to do through the pranayama, body can fulfill its role to support the mind to accomplish great things in the mind, uh, in, in life. Pranayama enriches the mind to accomplish great things. Pranayama, when the mind part, pranayama, through the um, pranayama, mind becomes calm, serene, and one starts experiencing happiness in life. Happiness is not on the outside product. In Bhagavad Gita, it talks about Yatro uparamate chittam niruddham yoga sevayam Yatra chai vatmanatmanam pashyan atmani tushyati When the mind, through the practice of pranayama, impurities in the mind comes down, settles down. Through the pranayama, body stress and mental stress goes down. Mental impurities, all unwanted things in the mind get comes down. When the impurities comes down, mind elevates her higher. As the mind starts going higher, it experiences the freedom. Atyantam sukam ashnute. One experiences the happiness. Never experienced this type of happiness in my life. Atyantam sukam. Ashnute. Ashnute means one revels, one enjoys the immense happiness in life through the pranayama. Through the doing the pranayama elevates the mind. Elevates the mind, the makes the mind. Doing the Vasudeva Kriya Yoga, our, um, it helps in uh, the, prana, uh, the pranayama um, the definition itself, lifespan increases. Health improves. Our Vasudeva Kriya Yoga helps in slowing down the breathing. When the slowing the breathing slows down, lifespan increases. Health improves. When the breathing rate slows down, mind becomes calm. When the breathing rate slows down, mind becomes creative. Creative in the routine, whatever uh, repetitive job you are doing, mind becomes very dull. There is no creativity. It's an ordinary thing. When the mind becomes creative, no two things are the same, no two jobs are the same, you may be doing the same thing, you may be doing the same asana, when the mind is creative, you would have experienced here. Every class is different. So creative, so creative, you are so enjoying, enjoying. 
if it is the same routine same thing like a cassette player if you are doing that one mind becomes very dull and uh, one teacher she was saying that the students are saying you are doing the same thing what is the need for me coming we learnt we will practice at home if that where there is a repetition mind becomes dull where there is a creativity there is a joy students are inspired to come students will come we want to learn more we want to mind becomes very creative mind becomes creative creative mind creative mind makes the memory power goes up i want to learn more i want to learn more more things you start learning you start enriching the mind when the mind as i mentioned in the beginning when the mind is enriched it is a food for the soul and the when the soul leaves the body it takes the mind stuff when you have come here into the body with the same mind stuff you haven't enriched the mind only enriched the body with uh, um, new suit new um, uh, bangles you have done enrich the mind when the mind is enriched it will go into higher level of existence how the evolution happens how the path of soul going into the higher world it is mentioned through enriching the mind alone you can go into the higher world higher level of consciousness otherwise if there is no evolution it will slip down into the lower species lower consciousness existence yoga is for elevating ourselves to the higher level of consciousness pranayama pranayama is a tool name itself ayama means expansion elevating elevating our energy to the higher level of existence left thumb bending